Welcome fifth grade social studies scholars to another Passport to Social Studies video. My name is Mr. Giordano and I will be your teacher for today's lesson. Today, we will continue with Unit 3, a United States case study, and our Day 7 through 8 lesson. The topic of today's lesson is westward expansion. Our focus question is how have forces and events in United States history led to growth and transformation of the nation? Our learning objective is to research the timeline and events of westward expansion in the United States during the 19th century. Today, you will be exploring the idea of perspective and reading a secondary source text about westward expansion. The text is called Key Events, Westward Expansion in the 19th Century. As you closely read the text, you will be annotating for evidence of growth and transformation as well as prejudice and loss. We will be reviewing the idea of annotation and what it means to closely read a text. This lesson will be split into two videos for you to view in two parts. So let's get started. So what is perspective? Well, perspective means a particular attitude toward or a way of regarding something. It is a person's point of view toward something such as an event or an action taking place. When historians look at different accounts of an event, they may find that the accounts conflict or agree with one another. Historians work to gather enough evidence to get the clearest picture possible of what happened in the past. When studying history, it is important to look at all perspectives to get as close to the truth as possible. So let's actually take a moment now to think about this idea of perspective and apply it to something that we might have seen in television, TV shows, or in movies, or even in real life, such as maybe a food fight in the cafeteria. Let's try to imagine a real food fight and what this might look like. You can even use the picture above as an example to get a visual of what this scene might actually look like in real life. As you can imagine, there would be many eyewitnesses and others connected to the food fight in the cafeteria. And these individuals would have different perspectives or points of view of what happened and what they saw. We know that the teacher or the assistant principal or dean standing in the picture here might have a different perspective of the event than the girl on the table in the back or this girl in the front who seems to be crying and upset. They might have different perspectives of what happened and how the event unfolded before them. Some may even offer information or evidence about events that happened prior to the food fight that escalated to the actual event in the cafeteria. Trying to gather the information and the perspective of all the individuals in the room will help us paint a better picture of what actually happened that day in the cafeteria. Similar to history and what historians have to do, they try to gather evidence from all perspectives to understand what happened in the past and get as close to the truth as possible. Today, we will start a lesson that will consider westward expansion in the 19th century or the 1800s in the United States from multiple perspectives. Again, multiple perspectives means from many points of view. Can you think from what different points of view we can tell the story of the United States westward expansion? For example, let's take a look at the painting Westward, The Course of Empire Takes Its Way by Emmanuel Latouze from 1862. You can find it in the next slide. You want to use present mode to enlarge the painting for easier viewing. Let's review how to use present mode to enlarge the painting for easier viewing. In the top right hand corner of the Google Slides, you will find a gray button that says present. If you press this, the slides will be enlarged so you can view the details of the painting more closely. To exit present mode, you can press the escape or ESC key on your keyboard. And again, here's the present button that you're looking for. I'm going to exit out of my screen, which is currently in present mode, so you can see what a normal Google slide view may look like. Now what you're going to do is go up here to the top right hand corner and click present. And you see that the screen enlarges and you have a clearer view of that particular slide on your computer screen. So let's take a look at this painting, Westward, the course of empire takes its way. 
At this time, you can pause the video to take in all the various details of this painting. So we can see many points of view in this painting that certainly tell the story of United States westward expansion. We can see pioneers and their train of covered wagons at the Continental Divide. They are looking towards the sunset and the Pacific Ocean moving westward. Beneath the central painting is a panoramic, down below, of the Golden Gate Bridge in the San Francisco Bay which would be located all the way on the west coast of the United States, right? Their final destination that they're looking to reach. Finally, we see portraits of pioneers such as William Clark on the left and Daniel Boone on the right. Clark explored the Oregon Territory from 1804 to 1806 and Boone explored the Kentucky region, opening the way for westward settlement. So here's also another fun fact about this painting. It is still on display in the west stairway of the house wing in the United States Capitol building. Okay, social studies scholars, this lesson will be continued in a second video where we will review close reading and the skill of annotating. Stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.